making my Jeep Gladiator front end less vulnerable. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Today we're gonna take a look at making the front end of the Jeep Gladiator less vulnerable. We're gonna add a little bit of protection. Now, we've got Randall over here. There he is right there. He had uh, changed out the bumper on the front of his Jeep Gladiator Mojave. In doing that, that freed up the skid plate, which he generously gave to me. Thank you, Randall. Uh, so, I looked at putting that on, and the problem is, is it was contacting my aftermarket steel bumper. So, Randall had an idea, thought, well, you know, we could trim the top of this lip off somewhat, see if we can get it to fit under there. So, we're gonna do a little test fit here, see just exactly what needs to be done, and uh, hopefully get the grinder out, or the cutoff wheel, and maybe trim this up to see if indeed it will fit on the front of the Jeep Gladiator. Okay, and looking at it underneath, it appears that this edge right here, the top edge, is what's hitting the bumper on mine. So, right across the top, right there on each side. So we probably need to take off about a quarter inch or so of that edge. And then hopefully, it will uh, give us enough clearance to be able to connect these brackets up underneath. Time to cut. Okay, donning the latest fashion apparel. Uh, we did discover that the brackets need to be cut as well. Um, kind of taking, this is my guess here, kind of taking a chunk right out of this corner uh, to be able to clear um, the actual frame piece, I think, and the bumper, the bumper. Uh, underneath there. So we're gonna set up and hopefully do this. Just on a side note, mm -hmm. he stores his goggles in the cooler because he really thinks they make him look cool. <laughs> I swear to God they came out of a cooler. They, they did, I did it. Okay, we got everything cut, the brackets are cut, both sides, and then also trimming along the top part of the skid plate. And it is golden, and of course, I'm gonna paint it. It's gonna be probably a uh, bed liner black little textured look to it, if you will. Have to seal up the cuts on the brackets, of course, so we don't get any rust. Um, that's all going to be coming up next. Okay, time to carry on with the Jeep Gladiator Skid Plate Edition. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've got the front brackets that Randall and I trim. I'm gonna just spray them with some paint that I have around. You won't be able to see them, so I'm gonna use Hunter Green. It's just to protect them. And then I'm gonna rough up the skid plate with some sandpaper, clean it with some rubbing alcohol, and then hit it with some Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. This should give me a nice durable black finish on the front of this skid plate. Um, and should protect it well too, I think. Definitely don't want this pewter, chrome, silver, whatever you want to call it on there. So let's get busy. Scratched up. Um, let's uh, spray it down with rubbing alcohol a few times, probably. Get it all nice and cleaned off is the idea. Probably should have sprayed it with water first, to be honest. Look at all that. It's got a ton of dust, that's for sure. I'll have to go over it a few times uh, to get everything off of it, no doubt. But that's okay. Like my buddy Randall says, rubbing alcohol is cheap. That's the Randall quote of the day, by the way. Okay, here we go. Hunter Green, safety first. Before I get the lid off.
Okay, that takes care of that. We've got them all painted up. A lovely hunter green. Uh, staying with the green theme. Again, you won't be able to see these, but now I'm just going to leave them sit for a few days to dry. We'll just put them up here on top of the shelf. And now, time for the big day. We're going to paint this with bed liner. Okay, here we go. Where to start? The fan off for the first uh, step, I guess. Coat number one. Feels like I have it all over me. We'll let it dry for a bit. Okay, we got it all done. And now the worst part for me is the waiting. I have to force myself to do this. And I'm talking, of course, about letting it dry. Usually I go out, get started, nick something, kick myself, and then have to touch it up. And it doesn't look nearly as good as it did originally. So let's take a look. It's all coated. It has four coats on it. Uh, it came out really well. Um, I really like this. It's amazing how professional you can make yourself look with a can of good paint. Um, but all the edges are done, covered up the cuts. Uh, those cuts are so good with this paint on there. I'm not even sure except for this little nick, which by the way, that was the side I did. You notice Randall's here is perfect, right? That's what I did. Not so good with a grinding wheel. Anyway, I think it came out really, really well. I love the way it looks. Uh, it should look awesome on the Jeep. I did, for a brief moment, consider hitting it with a shot of uh, Hunter Green, just to kind of make it look a little unique, I guess. But then I thought, you know, am I really talented enough to do that? Or is it just gonna be a globby mess? I went with a globby mess, so I decided not to do that. Still in the back of my mind though, you never know. I might uh, do a little experiment here and see what it would look like. I don't know, you'll have to tune in to the next video to see that because this is the end of the prep work. We will have an install video coming up on it, so make sure that you check that out. Real quick, if you're interested, I do have an additional channel. It is Rob Motive all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma back there. Check that out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.